Welcome in my country. Enjoy your first World Championship. Good luck. As the director of the championships, Martin Tomashin said, We welcome you to the first World Youth Amateur Direction Finding Championships in Turčianska Teplica in Slovakia. We'd like to thank the town's mayor for providing the support facilities in the town, which is located in the foothills of the Greater Fatra Mountains. After the opening ceremonies, athletes went to the Greater Fatra Mountains for the first race on 80 meters. Competitors started in intervals of five minutes. This meant that they rarely met each other in the forest. Before the start, competitors received 10 minutes to prepare themselves. Here is a map of the race area used for both of the classic races. It is difficult for competitors to find their bearings and they'll have to be very careful with their direction finding. Go! At the first category, M14. We have used GPS tracking so that we can see the competitors as if they were running at the same time. Competitors from the different categories are finding different foxes, and the foxes are not marked on the map. Pavel Ivanov got to the first control first, and the second competitor to come to the checkpoint is Jan Trpa. And here comes Yeho Redka from the Ukraine. And the next runner coming to the checkpoint is Jakub Kletz in fourth position. And next we can see Shimon Dukart coming to the checkpoint, followed closely by Krzysztof Milonowski. And the next two competitors coming to the checkpoint are Tomasz Ralisz and Tomasz Jurczyk. And Pavel Ivanov has taken the wrong direction towards number four and is losing valuable time. So Jakub Kletz now takes the lead. He then makes a mistake going for number five and loses the leadership. It's Jeho Redka to take the lead at number five. And here he is there. Shimon Dukart has got into second place, closely followed by Krzysztof Milanowski. Tomasz Ralisz and Michal Nosal coming to the checkpoint. We have Tomasz Jurczyk and Jan Trpak. And Jakub Kletz remains in 8th position. And now we can see the competitors coming in to the finish. And Shimon Dukart is in 2nd place, with Krzysztof Milanowski in 3rd place. But Krzysztof Milanowski loses 2 minutes trying to find the beacon, which means he loses out on a medal. And here is Jeho Redka coming in in first place, six minutes before number two. And Shimon Duka coming in in second position. And after Krzysztof Milanowski's mistake coming into the beacon, it's Tomasz Ralisz who comes in in bronze position. Michal Nosal is in fourth place and Krzysztof Milanowski in fifth place. Tomasz Jurczyk came in in sixth place. Jan Trpak finishing in seventh place and Jakub Kletz finishing in eighth place. And now let's move on to the category M16. Dmitry Demisenko loses time immediately at the start but immediately catches up with the top competitors. Competitors are evenly matched on the way to number two, but Dmitry Melnikov takes the lead at the checkpoint. Daniel Danchichen is second at the checkpoint. Daniel Svatek is in third position, and Artem Malovani is in fourth. Next to number two are Willem Hrubi and Arseny Kostyushev, followed by Alexei Daniluk, Jakub Kshen, and Mitro Denisenko. And now competitors are racing on to control point four and checkpoint five. But Alexei Danieluk decided to go to number three first. But it's Daniel Danchishen who takes the lead at number five, with Dmitry Denisenko coming in at the same control. And Jakub Ksen and Arseny Gostuchev close behind. 
And next is Daniel Svatek. Filem Hrubý. And Alexei Daniluk. Arsen Malabani has taken number three and is going on to number one. Uh, the others are looking for number three and then they'll turn their attention to number one. And we can see a considerable lead being built by Dan Chi Chen in front of the others. Here's Dan Chi Chen coming into the finish, winning by a clear six minutes. On the right of the map, we can see the fight going on for second place. It is, in fact, uh, Arseny Gostuchev who takes second place away from the others. Unfortunately, not here present on the tracking. And here is Arseny Gostuchev making his mark on the beacon. And here is the fight for third place, which is won here by Dmitry Denisenko from the Ukraine. Arsen Malabani came in just six seconds behind. Alexei Danieluk came in in fifth place and Jakub Kren in sixth. Now we have the category W14. Kamila Vishnevska was first in at checkpoint number four. However, Johanna Kletzova took the lead at number three. Jelena Petrovska is in second place, Anastasia Botachuk in third, with Svetlana Melnikova in fourth place. Meantime, Johanna Kletzova has won the competition with a six minute lead, and there's no change in second and third place, with Petrovska in second place and Melnikova taking bronze position. Barbara Yiraskova came in in fourth place. Anastasia Borachuk in fifth place. And here is the last category, W16. Competitors had a difficult starting corridor, leading them away from the checkpoint. But competitors quickly found the right direction and headed out for number four or number five. It turned out that the best choice was to take number five first, and Inga Oblab did this and took the lead. As did Sofia Lilgova from Slovakia. These runners are now going for number four, whereas the others are going for number five. Number five is Daniela Burci, Daria Chamina, and Evdokia Sadofieva. Daniela Trabakova. And immediately behind her was Ekaterina Koreliuk. And in 8th place is Nadezhda Mielnikova. Inga Oblap remains in the lead at number 3. Daniela Trepakova is in 4th place. Nadezhda Mielnikova remains in 5th place and Ekaterina Koreljuk in 6th. And in comes Inga Oblak in 1st place with a lead of almost 7 minutes. Sofia Lilgova comes in in 2nd place for Slovakia. Evdokia Sedofiova comes in in bronze position. And Ekaterina Koreljuk comes in in 4th place. Nadezhda Melnikova, 5th place. Daria Chamina is in 6th position. And here we can see the winners. Johanna Kletzova from the Czech Republic. Inga Obla from Russia. And Jeho Redka from the Ukraine. And Daniel Danchichen from Russia. And the next competition was the sprint competition. First the competitors have to find the slow foxes, then the spectator control, and finally the fast foxes. In the W14 category, the first to the first checkpoint was Johanna Kletzova. She was followed by Alžbeta Sobotová and Katarina Demchuk. And they were followed by Ekaterina Roškova, Anastasia Bondarchuk, and Barbara Jaskova. 
And Kletzovar is still in the lead at fast box number three. And at fast box number one, it is uh, Alžbeta Subotova from the Czech Republic. And Ekaterina Roškova is at fast box number two in third place. And here is Johanna Kletzova coming to the finish in first position. With Alžbeta Subotova coming in in second place, both runners from the Czech Republic. With Roškova coming in in third place, Demchuk in fourth place, Jiraskova in fifth place, and Bondarchuk in sixth place. In W16, the first to the spectator control point was Nadezhda Melnikova. Evdokia Sadofieva is in second place, and Daniela Trepakova in third place. Inga Oblap is in fourth place, and Denisa Mia is in fifth place. And here we have the leading competitor, Nadezhda Melnikova, at fast box number three. Evdokia Sedofieva remains in second place, with Daniela Trepakova still in third place. And there are no changes to the finish, with Nadezhda Milnikova winning in first place. Evdokia Sedofieva still in second place, and Daniela Trepakova finishing in bronze. With Inga Oblap in fourth place, and Denis Amir in fifth place. In the category M14, the first to the spectator point was Mikhail Nosal, not in picture. Instead, we can see Denis Golibin from Russia in the picture, followed by Daniela Vornikov and Tomasz Jurczyk. Ruslan Zabkov is in fifth position and Mikhail Ferenc in sixth. At fast box number three, Denis Golibin is still in the lead. Tomasz Jurczyk is at fast fox number one and moves into second place. However, Mikhail Ferenc moves into second place after a mistake by Denis Golibin, leading Tomasz Jurczyk running in in first position for gold medal. Mikhail Ferenc finishing in second position and Denis Golibin in third position, both for Russia. Mikhail Nosal finishing in 4th position from Slovakia, same as the winner Tomasz Turčík. Daniel Dvornikov came in in 5th position and Ruslan Zhabkov in 6th. In the M16 competition we can see Artem Malovani at the spectator checkpoint. In 2nd position is Arseny Gostyushev. In 3rd position is Alexei Danieljuk. Next in are Willem Hrubi, Dmitry Melnikov, Dmitro Denisenko, and Jakub Krem. Here at fast box number three, Artem Melovani is still in first place. Alexei Danieliuk is still in second position at fast box number one, but loses time on his way to fast box number four and goes down to position four. And this gives an opportunity for Arsenie Gostyuchev to go into third position. And here is Artyom Malovani coming in in first place for the Ukraine, followed in second position by Dmitry Mjolnikov and Arsenie Gostyuchev in third position, both for Russia. Alexei Danieliuk in fourth position, Dmitro Denisenko in fifth position, and in equal sixth position, Jakub Ksen and Vilem Rubi. And with a view from the winner's rostrum, we have in W14, the winner was Johanna Kletzova from the Czech Republic. And in the W16 category, it was Nadezhda Milnikova from Russia. In the M14 competition, the winner was Tomas Jurčík from Slovakia. And in the M16 competition, it was Artyom Malavani from the Ukraine. The last competition was a classic using the 2 meter radio and was uh, run on the same map as the 80 meter competition. The first category is W14. The competitors chose to go to number one first. The competitors now choose to go either for fox number two or fox number five. The better choice was to start with number five. As a result, Alžbeta Sobotova got into the lead, followed closely by Yelena Petrovska. 
and Svetlana Melnikova is third at fox number five, who unfortunately is missing from the GPS tracking. Alina Solonenko comes in at fox number two, followed closely by Lenka Mareshova. Johanna Kletseva is not as successful as in the previous two races and is in sixth position. Fox number two is the last checkpoint for Alzbeta Sobotova and Yelena Petrovska, and they're now going to the finish. At the same time, Alina Solonenko is at fox number five and now moving towards the finish. And Alzbeta Sobotova is coming into the finish with a one minute gap in front of Yelena Petrovska. In the meantime, Lenka Mareshova is at fox number five. And here is Alina Solonenko in third position. Followed by Lenka Mareshova in fourth position. And Svetlana Milnikova is taking her last checkpoint and moving to the finish along with Johanna Kletsova. And they keep this position to the finish with Svetlana Melnikova finishing in fifth place and Johanna Kletsova in sixth place. In the W16 category, the competitors do not need to take number three, and so they are split between choosing to start with number one or number five. The better decision was to go for number five first, which is shown by Migla Sharpula, who takes the lead in front of Natalia Panchuk and in front of Evdokia Sadofievia. Competitors are now moving towards fox number one, with the exception of Daniela Trpakova, who's going for fox number two. Migna Sharpila finds fox number four in an excellent time, and now she's picking up fox number two and going for the finish. Ekaterina Koraliuk is two minutes behind her at fox number two. Petra Lidyakova has just got fox number two and is now going for fox number five. In the meantime, Migla Sharpila has got to the finish in first position giving Lithuania their first and only gold medal. And in second position is Ekaterina Koroliuk from Russia. Evdokia Sedofiova has also taken fox number two and is going towards the finish. Tepalkova has just punched number five and is going towards the finish. Panchuk has just got number two and is also making for the finish. And here is Victoria Panasenko, who has just got number two and is making for the finish. Evdokia Sadofieva finishes in third place, five minutes behind second. And Panchuk managed to get to the finish 20 seconds before Trpakova to take fourth place. And now moving to the category M14. The first runner to the first checkpoint, number three, was Stepan Gilevsky. Runners now had to make a decision whether to go for number five or number one. Stepan Gilevsky is the first runner to number one, and Tomas Jurcik the first runner to number five. Tomas Jurcik takes the lead at this control, uh, with Tomas Ralish in second place. On the other hand, Stepan Gilevsky starts losing time. Denis Gulibin is third at fox number five. Jaworetka decided to go for fox number one and is now at fox number five. Competitors are now running towards the finish via fox number two, with the exception of Pavel Ivanov, who's at fox number five still and is now going down to number two, two. Tomas Jurtsuke has made a very good approach to number two and is now going on towards the finish. He's closely followed by Jeho Retka, who's only 17 seconds behind him. However, Jurtsuke remains in first position and wins the gold for Slovakia. 
With Jeho Recka finishing in second place. Pavel Ivanov is taking number two now and is on his way to the finish. He's followed by Denis Golibin and Tomasz Ralíš. And here is Pavel Ivanov running to the finish in third position. And here's Denis Golibin coming in in fourth position. And Tomasz Ralíš in fifth position. And out of the picture in sixth position, Stepan Gilevsky. In the M16 competition, Dmitry Tenisenko also makes a mistake and loses time. The others have already taken fox number three and are moving on to fox number one. Daniel Dzienczyshen misses the control, which leaves Willem Hrubi in first position. However, Willem Hrubi makes a mistake going for number four, leaving Daniel Dzienczyshen in first position again. Dzienczyshen decides to leave out number four and go straight for number two. This is a tactic used often by experienced runners. The other runners go from number one to number five. The first runner at number five is Tiberio Mia. And second was Dmitry Milnikov. With Dmitry Denisenko in third place. Daniel Danchishen has got fox number two and is now going for fox number four. He's then going to go up to number five. Dmitry Denisenko is now going for fox number four. And like Daniel Denchishen, he's on his last fox now. Daniel Danchishen is running fast for number five. Yaroslav Debopre is in front of him at fox number five. Daniel Denchishen now finds fox number five and goes to the finish. Mateusz Kuzia has found number two and is now going back up to number five. Dmitry Denisenko has found number two and can now go to the finish. Tibireo Mia is also on his way to the finish. Denisenko is now in a fight for the finish with Danchishen. Danchishen gets in front of Denisenko and wins by 17 seconds, bringing the total gold medal count for Russia to seven. Denisenko comes in in second place, making his country third in the medals table. Yaroslav Debopre has found number two and is making his way to the finish. Mia's third place means the second medal for Romania. And Yaroslav Debopre comes in in fourth place. Dmitry Melnikov has now found number two and is on his way to the finish. However, Matyosh Kuzia has got in fifth place just before him. Dmitry Melnikov's sixth place means that the Czech Republic is going to be in second place in the medals table with 13 medals. And to go over the winners once again, in W14 competition it was Alžbeta Sobotová from the Czech Republic and in the W16 competition it was Migle Shapilo from Lithuania. In the M14 competition it was Tomáš Jurčík from Slovakia and in the M16 competition it was Daniel Danchišen from Russia. In the next time I would like to thank our young sportsmen. Your results uh, here were really super and uh, if I look at you I can see the real future of the ARDF. The first World Youth Championships in ARDF is over. The host nation, Slovakia, ended up in fourth position in the medals table with five medals, especially thanks to Tomasz Jurčík. Thank you for watching and see you again at the World Championships in the Czech Republic next year.